Oh, that woman. She is going to be the death of me. Why can't she just mind her own business, constantly sticking her nose where it doesn't belong? If she's not careful, she's going to get herself in a world of trouble. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new episode of The Sims 4 Decades Challenge. As you can see, we are currently outside of James's father's club with super ridiculously handsome Joey. As you all know, we are going to be doing Joey's backstory today and I hope you are all looking forward to it. This is currently taking place right after Joey's argument with Diana and he is pretty mad. He is so sick and tired of her sticking her nose where it doesn't belong and it is starting to drive him crazy. He's really frustrated with Diana. She keeps getting involved and he really can't stand the fact that she keeps poking her nose around because he knows that it's not good for her and he doesn't want to have to do anything you know to necessarily cause harm to her. So he's really struggling with this whole the whole fact. He really wishes that she just would lay off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send him home because I think he's had a stressful couple of days and he's like, you know what, I just really need to like escape. So he's going back to Del Sol Valley away from everyone to catch a break from all of the drama that Evelyn and her family has caused him. So Joey has just arrived and he has come home. It is pretty late at night, but I think he is ready to have a nice relaxing evening away from the stress of <laughs> Diana and her family. And while he's at home and in his own place, he is thinking about the fact that Diana really has said some things that have really bugged him. Like, who is this girl to think that I don't care about people? She doesn't even know who I am. And she goes and has the nerve to tell me that I don't care about people. Oh. Sometimes women can just, sometimes women just drive me crazy. They always think they know everything, but they don't actually care to try to get to know you. So he's really frustrated with Diana and he really is tired of people looking down on him for the life that he lives. And he understands why people feel that way, but he also knows that it's not accurate to feel that way. And it really bugs him that it has been, you know, such a negative, there's been such a negative notion around who he is as a person. As he sits outside in the beautiful night sky, looking up at the stars and enjoying the fire, Joey is really starting to self-reflect on why people have such a negative notion. He really is so sick of people having no clue who he is, why he does the things that he does, and he's really frustrated, you know? She's really got under his skin saying these comments that he doesn't care about people and that, you know, she, he was never loved and it really bugs him. Um, things end up bugging you as a person sometimes, especially when it comes to your family, when it's sometimes, when it's true, you know, it really irritates people. And Joey's so frustrated with it and he starts to reflect, you know, like I said, sometimes when something bugs you and really gets under your skin, it doesn't necessarily mean it's not true. It's more that it is true and, you know, the truth sometimes is hard to face when you've been in a difficult situation. As you can see, we are all the way back when Joey was just a little wee boy living his best life in a huge mansion on the same property that he actually lives today. And this is where he lives with his mother and father. This here is Isadora Ramirez. Isadora is a beautiful wife and a beautiful mother on the outside. 
She really isn't the nicest person on the inside. She has her entire life just wanted to be fabulously wealthy. She has the traits, hates children, materialistic, evil, and business savvy. And she really is the perfect partner for Alonzo. So this is uh, this is Joey's father, Alonzo Ramirez. These two have really made a name for themselves in the crime industry. Now, Alonzo is a public enemy. He also has the traits of mean, evil, hot-headed, and dastardly. So as you can see, he is quite the interesting man. Lonzo is not a nice man. He has never been, and all he has cared about is his business. And the truth is, is that with his career, he really has to be like that because of the fact that there are so many dangers that come into play with the type of line of business that he is in. And so unfortunately, because of that, he really has put a lot of pressure on little Joey here who, you know, he's just a kid. His family expects him to dress a certain way, act a certain way, and talk a certain way. They get really annoyed with him if he does his homework, if he pursues schooling at all. She, they always give him a hard time for anything really important, you know, anything that normal parents would really build their children up for, his parents don't care. Um, so unfortunately it has made it pretty difficult for uh, Joey he has definitely been alone a lot so because of that little Joey actually stays all the way at the top you would think this would be the parents suite but it is his area they've put him at the top of the house because they really don't like spending time with him they kind of figure out of sight out of mind with uh, with poor little Joey. So Joey stays upstairs in his own little tower away from everyone looking out at the world and basically just avoiding his family and everything to do with them. He even tries to sneak and do his homework and tries to get good grades without involving his family. Unfortunately, in the evenings, his mother always has her male suitors around who are constantly, you know, sneaking around the house. Part she's always throwing parties. She's always, you know, bringing a new guy home and being really noisy and it can be a very distracting household. She doesn't really care. She hates kids, you know, it's not really her thing. She got pregnant by Joey's father before they had even got married. So it really wasn't their thing. So she definitely sticks around for the money, not because it's true love. Fortunately, she finds ways to find her own true love elsewhere. So unfortunately, because of the situation between his parents in return, it has made for a not very pleasant environment for poor Joey. His father is always angry, always getting mad at him for something. It's been very hard for Joey to, you know, progress in life when he's constantly being yelled at, constantly being forced to skip school, and he's really tired of being pushed around. He's like, listen, Dad, you know, I just want to get my grades up. How am I supposed to be good at what I do if you won't let me learn? Alonzo's like, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know, son. You're not going to school today. You're going to the club with me. So Joey and his father have arrived at this really nice club. As you can see, his father is not a man of small coin. He is all about the luxury and its finest. And he is right on the popular strip in town. He wants to make sure that, you know, everybody knows where Alonzo's place is. And it is a very popular club and it's not really meant for kids. <laughs> So this is the day that we're looking at when Alonzo finally decided to pull his son into the family business. So he said to Joey after he caught his wife cheating on him for the hundredth time, you know what son, if you want to be successful in life and if you want to have money and true friendships and people, you know, looking up to you and living in fear of you, this is the best way you can do that. If you lose control over your own life and allow people to treat you however they want, then you're always going to be the, you will always be walked all over and be the mock, the and it will be mocked and will never be appreciated. It is very important that you learn this from a young age. 
And Joey's gonna be like, but dad, like, I just wanna go to school. I don't really understand why I have to start working already. Like, I would really like, like, I do wanna learn, you know, what you do for work, dad, but I also would really like to, you know, go to school and stuff. I would really appreciate it. And uh, Alonzo's gonna say, kid, you're gonna be going to the school, you're gonna be going to your dad's school, and trust me, it's gonna be the best school you've ever had. You can't trust people like your mother. You can't trust people. You need to only trust me, and I'll make sure you get taken care of, kid, and you're gonna have a good life. But you really have to stop giving me trouble. You really have to stop being annoying and getting in my way, and just do what you're told. So because Alonzo wants his dad's approval, and he wants things to go back to being a happier time, he really feels like if he just does whatever his dad asks him to do, you know, his dad will be happy, his dad will be more approving of him, and maybe they'll start to get a better relationship over time. So, um, so poor Joey is like, okay, sounds good. So Joey has agreed to do whatever his father has asked him to do. And so his dad's like, later tonight there is going to be a job that uh, will be your initiation, and if you do well tonight, kid, I promise you, you are gonna have the world at your feet, you will have the respect of all of my men, and it's gonna be really good for you. So Joey's like, okay, well, I'll do whatever you want, Dad, I just wanna make you happy. He's like, well, this is how you're gonna do it. So when Joey does go to school, which is very rarely, he has actually met quite a few friends um, and they actually all are the sons and daughter, the son and daughter of a, another family in the business. So this is actually right here. This is little David Smith. He is the brother of the sibling group, and he is probably the 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 one that is most like Joey as far as um, lifestyle and interests. <laughs> and they also have cute little Mary Smith, and we also have Kathleen Smith, and so. These are kind of Joey's real only friend group. You know, it's his only time that he really gets to be a kid and act his age is when he is around these kids. And the only reason why it's been approved is because their father works for Joey's dad. And so they kind of all know, you know, the rules of the arrangement. And Joey gets along with all of them pretty well. As you can see, they're all pretty close. Unfortunately for Joey though, his father really doesn't approve of him hanging out with children uh, because he feels like that is just going to melt Joey's brain and he is going to lose any value he has to the family business and it really annoys him when he hangs out with these kids. So that's why his dad is trying to get him into the business sooner. Obviously with that and the compounded results of you know his mother's actions causing his father to be really angry and tense all the time, uh, that has caused him to make these decisions. So as you can see, we are actually at a very fancy museum in a very prominent area. So they've just arrived at the museum where the job is going to go off and first off Alonzo is going to put Isadora in her place and say, you know, I'm really mad that you treated me with such disrespect. I have given you everything you've ever asked for. I have done nothing but treat you good. And she's like, treat me good? All you care about is Joey. You never give me attention. I hardly ever get to go shopping anymore. My life has completely changed. And Alonzo's like, ugh, woman, I swear, you really need a few more brain cells. <laughs> and of course, this is all happening right in front of poor Joey. So Alonzo's gonna say, listen, just follow my lead. Pretend you actually care about me for once. That would be great. And look, and he turns around right away and starts expressing his fondness and saying, you know you're the only one for me. Look at him go, he's just going like crazy. And Alonzo is going to say to Joey that, you know, we're at the museum here. This is a great opportunity for you to show what you're worth. I'm going to distract all the prominent men and there is a piece of jewelry in there, a really expensive diamond necklace that I need you to steal for me. You're small, nobody is going to even notice that you're here. You're going to do a great job. I'm so proud of you, son. I know you can do it. Just keep your eye on the prize and I'll do the rest. So 
Joey's like, okay, Dad, I'll see if I can find it. He's like, you can't miss it. That his father wants him to steal. It is very expensive. And in the meantime, Joey's father has decided he is going to make a scene and make sure everybody is distracted. So out here, his mother is playing her part of distracting all of the ladies at the museum. Alonzo has told him what he needs to do and his parents are just going to make sure everybody else is distracted while little... Um, Joey comes in and tries to make his move. So it looks like it's pretty quiet here so far. I'm gonna have him attempt to swipe something else because it actually isn't giving me the option <laughs> to swipe and while everybody's being distracted by the parents, Joey is going in and he is successfully swiping all of the objects from the museum. So after he swipes the first thing, he's feeling pretty good and he has also successfully swiped both sets of necklaces and he's feeling pretty good. So it says here that he is energized, exhilarating steel. Nothing is more thrilling than swiping objects from others. So Joey has accomplished what his father has wanted to do while his parents are out here being extremely charming and Joey's father is gonna come over and he is going to tell him, you know, I'm super proud of you, kid. He's gonna say to him, I'm so proud of you, Joey. You did such a great job, but you really need to stop hanging out with those kids. They're really annoying and they're just gonna distract you, Joey. What are you thinking? Why are you making friends? I saw you hanging out with those kids at the park today and I'm really disappointed in you. You don't have time to be hanging out with with these young kids. They're just going to brainwash you and make you think younger. You are smarter than them. You have more talent than them. You need to be better. We are trying to make money here, kid, and getting mixed up with these kids is not going to help. So Joey's like, oh, uh, okay, Dad, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. I just I just really wanted, you know, to, to, to feel like a kid for a day. I'm sorry, Dad. I won't hang out with them anymore. So for Joey, it's been really hard remembering these past memories of his family and his childhood. And he's really annoyed. He's like, oh, why am I thinking about this stuff? This is just so frustrating. So he's going to go outside and punch the bunching bag. And I think that Joey is starting to feel like oh, that door, that Diana girl, she just, she just has to say things that just get on my nerves and make me think and I'm so mad about it I'm better than this why am I even thinking about this he's starting to realize that you know she is right he didn't have a family that loved him he didn't have family who were supportive of him but not everybody gets that you know and she was just a spoiled brat that got it all handed to her and now she's trying to change Evelyn and maybe Evelyn had a life closer to mine and maybe that's why Evelyn acts the way she does Diana really doesn't know anything and he's really tired of her getting on his nerves. <laughs> so he's over there working on his fitness and Vixen is coming along because she knew, she saw, you know, she knows that um, Evelyn hasn't been showing up for her shifts and it is her job to listen to Joey and, you know, take care of the girls that work for him and, um, so she's just coming to check on everything. So I'm gonna have him serve some breakfast and let's hope he doesn't actually burn the house down in the meantime. Uh, so he's gonna say, hi Vixen, thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. I'm just gonna cook. You can come and join me while I cook for us. I'll make you some eggs. She's like, oh, okay, thanks Joey. So he's gonna cook some food and she's gonna come over and chat with him and he's gonna be like, so, How's it going? She's like, Joey, it's not going great. She hasn't shown up for her shift at all. And he's like, oh, big surprise. She's like, well, what are you gonna do? Like, she's costing you money. She's giving us a bad name. But if you do anything negative, her grandfather might cause trouble for you in the business. He's like, yeah, I know. And she's like, and don't forget about Diana. And he's like, I'm trying to forget about her. The last thing I need is to be told not to forget about her vixen. She's like, oh, sorry and Vixen's gonna be like well what are you gonna do about it I've told her to stop snooping around and getting her nose involved but I know if I don't if she doesn't stop soon it's not gonna turn out it's not gonna turn out too well for her 
And she's like, well, what does that mean? He's like, well, sometimes harder decisions need to be made. And she's like, oh, well, you know, Joey, I didn't sign up for that. I just wanted to, you know, have a good life. You've always been really good to me, but I don't support you kidnapping or doing anything really bad to some nice young girl. He's like, ha, nice. Have you met the Diana? Are we talking about the same girl here? She's insane. She's like, well, I think she's just someone who really cares about her family. Both of us don't really know what it's like to have a good family, so I would imagine it's really hard for us to understand, but she just really cares about her family. Haven't you ever cared about someone that's meant something to you? And Joey's like, well, yeah, a long time ago. And she's like, well, maybe Diana is just having a hard time giving up on her friends. He's like, well, she knew what was good for her. She would. It's always better to walk away. So we're now in the memory of the final straw, the straw that broke the camel's back in Joey's life. He tried his best to keep it together. He tried his best to stay focused on schooling. You know, he still cares about homework. He's still trying to have a good life between um, convincing his father that, you know, he wants to be a part of the business, but, you know, slowly learning his education as he gets older and uh, he is still so ridiculously handsome. But because Joey is a teen, that also means that he's interested in getting to know people. So I'm actually gonna have him travel with his friends. We've got David, Mary, and Kathleen. They're all teens now. They have all become very close and they hang out at, their fa at his father's club all the time. So this is David. He has become quite the strong man and he has actually started to work for the family business and all of these kids have kind of worked their way into not really being, they're not bad people. I would say they're definitely a better alternative to Joey's father. Um, and Joey throughout this time has, you know, with the help of his friends, has managed to actually, you know, still be a pretty good guy all things considered you know he's still very respectful of women he's seen how his mother's been treated and he also sees the relationship between his parents so he actually doesn't pursue relationships really that often at all because he doesn't really you know want to have to deal with the same situation as his parents um but the kids are all you know they all work for the dad and you know they've all become really close and he's really fortunate to have them because if it weren't for them, he would really feel like, um, you know, he had nothing. These kids have really been the, the people that have been his strength. So we have beautiful Kathleen here. And as you can see, Kathleen actually has a tattoo and Joey actually gave her that tattoo <laughs> when they were teens. Um, they have, you know, grown very close. As you can see, he's pretty close with all of his friends and he loves them all a lot. So David's going to say, you know, Joey, we've got a lot of jobs and you've kind of been slack and I'm not trying to be rude. I know you're the boss's son, but you know, I've been having to pick up a lot of the pieces lately and it's really annoying, dude. It's like, listen, I'm trying to get my grades up. I'm going to be graduating soon. He's like, why do you even care about school? Your dad told you to stop focusing on that years ago. And, you know, Joey's like, well, I just want to keep my options open. You never know. I might become a doctor. And he's like, ha, 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 you're not going to become a doctor. You're going to be the next kingpin of the business. And he's like, yeah, I guess. And cute little Mary's like, don't worry, Joey. It's going to be fine. You know, you're the best of the business than anyone's ever been. Your dad is so proud of you. He's raised you to really be a good heir to everything. You just have to have faith. It's all going to work out. He's like, I don't want to do that, Mary. I really want to go to school and I want to pursue something else. How am I going to have a family in a real life if I'm constantly living in his shadow? She's like, oh, you've never mentioned family. You, you want kids? <laughs> Joey, no offense, but you don't really seem like the type that would be a very good dad. And he's like, oh, thanks. So his friends are very supportive of him and little Kathleen is actually gonna say, Joey, I think you'd be a great dad. Don't listen to them. He, they're just being silly. They're giving you a hard time. We know what you really want. We know that you don't really want this life, but you know your dad, like how would you escape? He's like, yeah, I know. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm stuck for life. And David's like, 
so jealous of Joey. He's like, man, I still wish your dad was my dad. Your dad is so much cooler. Did you see that time that we pulled off that heist? And Joey's like, yeah, yeah, I remember. So fortunately, Joey has some friends that he can kind of talk to. You know, they do care about him and they're very sympathetic to who he is. Um, but they also know that there really isn't much hope for him ever getting out of the situation. <laughs> Uh, without upsetting his father too much, especially his father. I'm gonna go ahead and send him home. It's four in the morning. He's like, hey, well, I'm gonna head out everyone. I got school in the morning. And they're like, Ugh. all right, whatever, Joey. We'll see you later. Because unfortunately, Joey still tries his little best to get good grades, even though his father will never let him do anything with them. So Joey has come in at five o'clock in the morning and his father is furious. His father's like, where were you tonight? I had a job and I couldn't find you anywhere. Joey's like, I'm sorry. I was with my friends. Like I, I had things to do, you know, like I should be allowed to get out once in a while. All I do is work for you. He's like, how do you expect me to hand the business off to you, Joey, if you can't take it seriously? Joey's like, I don't want the business, dad. I just want to live my own life. Why do I constantly have to do what you want from me? He's like, Joey, you do not have a choice. I have built an empire here and I need someone to be my heir. And he's like, well, you should have thought of that before you only had one kid. And so his father's gonna say to him, Joey, were you with the kids again? He's like, yeah, I was with my friends. What's the problem? He's like, listen, if I see you hanging around them one more time, I'm not gonna just fire their father, if you know what I mean. And I'll make sure that they suffer the consequences too. So I recommend for their own safety, you stay away. So this is the moment where Joey realized that his father would be willing to cross the line even when it came to him. He thought that he was somewhat safe from it, but he knows now that his father knows no limits. And I think that Joey finally realized in this moment that in order to protect the ones, the only people who've really ever shown any sort of care or love or kindness to him in any way um, it has been his friends and this was the moment he decided that he was going to completely cut off with them so before he commits to you know working for his father and 100% jumping into the family business look his parents are sleeping in separate beds he is going to make a deal with his father so he's gonna say, I'm gonna do what you've asked. I'm going to join the family business. I'm gonna stop trying with school. I'm gonna do everything that you've said. But if you could just make me a promise if I do this. And then he's like, what do you want? He's like, listen, just please fire their dad. Make sure he never works in this line of business again and make sure they're safe. Don't hurt them, just let them go send him on his way, maybe find him a good job in a real business. That way they can at least have a good life. So his father is like, Ugh, that kid, I've tried to teach him for so long to not have a heart and he just won't get it. But his father has agreed. So Joey has decided he's going to drop out of school. He's going to go into the family business full time in order to protect his lifelong friends, the only people who have ever brought him any comfort, any joy, any form of meaning at all. Um, and make sure that they have an opportunity to have the life that Joey has always wanted. And that is how Joey made the decision to work for the family business. So Joey's told the story to Vixen that, you know, I had really good friends and this is why I'm here. And she's like, oh, that makes a lot of sense, Joey. I knew you were a good guy. And he's like, no, I'm not. And she's like, yeah, you are. But that's not going to stop the fact that I have to tell you some bad news. <laughs> and he's like, okay, what? She's like, well, I did what you told me to do. I went and I saw your mom at the safe house, just like you asked. And she got a letter from your father from prison. And he's like, what do you mean? Well, he kind of has some resources on the outside. So he wrote a letter to your mom and it's not good. So he's like, what, what is it? What's the problem now? And she's like, 
I guess this Diana girl had her father starting to <laughs> research you. I don't know, but you're not that cute. I don't know why she'd be that curious about you. You're kind of boring. He's like, oh. Anyways, his resources at the town hall found out about it and he knows now that Diana's trying to learn more about the family business. He knows that she's been causing you problems and he's told your mom that uh, you need to deal with it. So I just wanted to let you know ahead of time because I'm pretty sure that he's going to try to deal with it himself if you don't soon. I'm really sorry, Joey. I don't want this for you, but I work for you, not the other way around. I don't make the rules. I can't help that he's your father. Joey's like, no, I know. He's like, thanks, Vixen. I really appreciate, appreciate you letting me know. Uh, I got to think about this, but I really appreciate you always be having an open ear for me. So Vixen's going to head out. She's done, you know, she's done a great job at keeping up with the workload and everything and, you know, helping him be her eyes and ears of the situation. Uh, so Joey is feeling pretty bad about everything, but he knows now that if he doesn't do something, Diana's in a lot of trouble and he's really worried for her. So... I think after all of the talking between Diana and Joey, he's starting to kind of remember the old Joey that he used to be, the guy who was really loyal, cared about his friends, cared about, you know, his family, and wanted a different life, and he was never able to have it because of the thumb his father had over him. And Joey has actually always had a really good heart, and I think that he is pretty sad about the fact that um, he's pretty sad about the fact that this poor young girl who just really cares about her family is trying to do something for her, her cousin and she's getting pulled into a really bad situation. So Joey has arrived at Diana's place. He's feeling confident. He had to really talk himself up because he always gets really nervous before he has to talk to Diana. <laughs> And he's come on in and he sees Bailey here, so he's just gonna go ahead and do a friendly introduction, say hello to Bailey and be like, hi. She's like, what are you doing here? He's like, I'm here to see Diana. Is she here? And she's like, oh no, you don't. Diana already is on probation from school because of you and now you're showing up at the house. What do you want with her? And he's like, I just need to talk to her. I, I swear, I don't mean any harm to her. I'm not trying to cause her any trouble. Bailey's like, oh, well, if you cause any trouble, sir, I'm going to be causing you trouble and you do not want me on your bad side. So Joey's like, duly noted. I appreciate the warning. Is Diana home? She's like, I, she's upstairs. And Joey walks upstairs and Diana's like, what are you doing here Joey why would you just show up I can't believe you would just come to my house and cause problems like this and Joey's like can we please just talk for a second outside and look Bailey's going off on him all the girls are like oh no you don't you did not walk into our house and cause us problems <laughs> oh. well I'm gonna tell you his father might be not the greatest person but Joey's sure got his uh his hands full with all these girls so Dinah's like, fine, I'll give you a minute, but only a minute. So he's gonna say, Diana, we really need to talk. She's like, why? Why do we need to talk about Joey? He's like, it's really serious. And I swear, I just am looking out for your best interests right now. And it's really important that we talk. And she's like, all right, fine. I'm, I'm all ears, but I expect the truth this time, Joey. I'm not the type of person to put up with lies. And he's like, I know you're not, and I'm going to give you the truth, but you're going to have to trust me. So Joey is here to discuss everything with Diana. I'm open with her about everything and let her know what's going on. Joey is so tired of being controlled by his father, and even though he really can't stand Diana, he doesn't want any harm to come to her or her family. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode, getting to see Joey and his family, and you know, his past, where he comes from, why he does the things that he does, and have a little bit better of an understanding of who Joey is. And until next time, I'm going to say bye for now. Well, I know what I feel. Please tell me a little.